Alright, the first thing you're going to do is hook up hook up the uh, AC wires to your alternator. I've got this running through a stop switch. This is actually coming from the wind turbine through there. I'm not using these rectifiers. Okay, so we'll hook those up. And then we're going to hook the multimeter up to the uh, DC output. So I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to flip the turbine on. Volts are at zero right now. So we'll flip that on. 10 volts, 13, 15. Now what we're looking for is this will be just ramping up until it hits cut in. There it hit cut in. I want to see if we can maintain a voltage through the resistors. So I'll adjust this up a little bit. See if we can't get a little more. ramping up again so this is really very top speed so we're trying to pull power at its very peak speed so we're going to back off a little see what we can get right there so there's not enough wind to maintain that There we go. Now it's holding. So we're getting 56, 57 volts through the resistor. It's holding. So I've got another lid here with a row of uh, halogens. I've got 20s and 50s. Turn the turbine on. It's 10 volts. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Puts a lot of pressure on the relay, though. The 50 watts are trying to glow. A little bit. What it's been up to eighty. And the reason it's cycling on and off is it can't it can't hold that amp draw. The RPM slows down and it cuts out. So I don't think this is worthwhile, but it's fun. All right, one other thing I can do is set this up for 60 watt halogen. So we're set for 60 watt, and I'm going to turn this control knob down a little just so the turbine doesn't spin up too much. Turn it up just a little bit more. Turn it up just a little bit more. I just turned the turbine on. I'll let you see what it does under power. There it's under power. 